This is a model of the strategy QSSA, question, signal, stem, share, and assess. And we're going to show you what that could look like in a math classroom today. Um, but just keep in mind, this can be adaptable to other um, content classrooms as well. So I have my students, Megan, Brianne, Kelly, Katie, and Kelly. And we are going to run through this. And then, um, yeah, it should only take a few minutes to show you what that looks like. So I'm going to be the teacher. Here we go. All right, squad. Um, so we are going to do a little discussion strategy today. I'm going to break you out into groups in just a moment. But uh, our question is, as you can see it, would be, what would be your first step in solving this equation? So I want you to just look at that equation and think about to yourself, what would be the first step that I would do if I had to solve this? When you think you have an answer and would be ready to share in a group, I want you to just raise your hand and hold it up there for me. If your video is not on, you can go ahead and just put the raise hand button on there or show me a thumbs up with those icons as well. Either of those work, but just show me that hand and keep it up when you think you know your first step. Awesome. See the hands going up here. We're gonna give people a few more seconds just to make sure everyone feels confident with this. All right, looks like everyone's right. So you can go ahead and put those hands down for now. Um, and so I'm gonna break out in your groups and you are going to share what would be your first step in solving this equation. And you can use that sentence stem that's right there for you. To solve this equation, first I blank. If you need to write that down or take a picture of that right now, um, that might help you before you go into your room. All right, so again, to solve this equation, first I would blank. When you get into your group, I want the person with the brightest colored shirt to share first and then share around in the group. All right, so if your video is not on, you might need to describe your shirt to your teammates in there. Um, I'm gonna give you about three minutes in your group then we'll come back and someone from your group is going to share at random. So make sure that you either feel confident in sharing what you want to do or that you can definitely uh, grab what someone else said and share that with the class using that sentence stem. So here we go. We're going to break you out and I might pop into a group here. Um, any questions before we do that? All right. Okay. Hi, Kelly. What shirt, what color shirt are you wearing? I'm wearing a black shirt. I've got black, but I also have red. I also have green, so maybe... I would say your red is brighter than my green. Okay, I'll go start. I'll start then. Um, so to solve this equation, first, I would... Um, I think I would divide both sides by four first. <laughs> And to solve this equation, the thing I would do first is distribute the four to the X and the two. Awesome. Oh, interesting. What I'd love for you guys to do is talk about those differences and how they might lead you to solving or to getting the same answer. I'm going to pop into another group and call everyone back. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close these. I might give people a little bit more time depending on group size here, but just for the sake of this recording, we're gonna close the rooms. All right, looks like everyone is back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick someone to share at random here. I know sometimes I might pick uh, volunteers, sometimes I like to do it randomly. Today, we're gonna go a little random. So remember that your um, question was, what would be your first step in solving this equation? And it was four times the quantity of X minus two equals 12. And let's see who we are gonna pick to share today. Can you guys see my screen? Are we okay there? Awesome. Yes, we can see. Right, let's do it. Ooh, that was close. All right, Miss Rodriguez. Yes? us what you said in your group or what someone else said? I said to solve this equation, first I would distribute the four to the X and to the two. So I would have four X minus eight. Awesome, thank you for sharing Kelly. We all give Kelly some snaps or some applause for sharing. Thank you, Kelly. Is there anyone else who maybe did something differently and wants to share their answer? Yeah, go ahead, Bree. 
So I actually, I divided by four, like I divided both sides by four. And Brianne, what, what did the equation look like after you divided both sides by four? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I know the one side, like the 12 divided by four would be three. And so then I think the other side is just X minus two. Okay, Megan, I saw you kind of raise your hand and nod. Are you in agreement with Bree there? Yeah, when I divide both sides by four, I got X minus two equals three. Awesome. All right, team. Well, way to go. We're going to continue on. So thank you. That was our QSSSA model. Hopefully that helped um, you think about how you could use this in your class.